Alejandro, how are you? Hi, Claudi. Claudia, I miss you. Where have you been? I. What happened, Claudia? I miss you. I miss you. Yeah, what happened? Uh, we, I miss you in two classes. Yes, um, it's difficult. Um, it was difficult? At yes, at bar in the street. Oh, okay. So you were tired? Yes. 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 Okay, so don't worry about it. That's okay. Just let me know, okay? Because I was worried about you. I thought you were sick. I was like, no way. That's not possible. But I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy to see you and to be here because today we're going to learn and we're going yeah. to do a lot of things. You cannot imagine. I'm so happy. Also, Sandrita, I'm happy. Alejandro's here, Americo. Mr. Fernando, I love your picture. And Luisito. <laughs> Very good. We cannot hear you, Luisito. Um, okay, yes, now we can. Go ahead. Okay. Today is a Father's Day. Yes. Uh, uh, I almost, um, I can, I came in in the class. Really? Uh, I, I, I must stop the celebration. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm Happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm so no problem. <laughs> but I'm so happy that you are here. That shows that you're really good fat. I am too. Uh, oh my. Oh yeah. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Very good. So we have how many fathers do we have? We have America. America is a father. Also Luisito. Uh Christian is a father as well. Alejandro. Alex. Alex? Uh, Alex. Alex. Yes, Alex. Yes. And who else? Fernando is not a father. No, no yet. No teacher. Well, <laughs> pets doesn't count, okay? Pets don't count. No cats, no dogs. They don't count. Well, they do, but no, not really. <laughs> All righty. In the future, sir, in the future, okay? Okay, that's nice. Oh, and tell me, Alejandro, hello, Alejandro, sorry, Luis, how's your day going? Uh, how's about been your nice. day? Very nice um, uh -huh. uh, and celebration and, and sharing sharing the days. Really? Uh, with, with my my family, a with little. Family, that's nice. Okay, yes. What did you do? Um, uh, eat. Uh -huh. eat. You ate. Ate. Uh huh. Yeah. I I ate. I I I drink. I drown. Uh huh. Uh, what else? Did they prepare uh, something special for you? Uh, yes. Um, like uh, a meal? So, I don't know. Something, something, something present. Ah, okay. Some presents, okay. Some present, some present. Yes, uh, and and all night, all nice. Oh, that was nice. Okay, I had a um, a student in the previously class, the class that I give uh, before you guys, that uh, his name is Osman. And basically, he has a, a little, a two little boys, and one of them uh, gave him like a draw. It was the the four of them, he, he, his wife, and the two children, the little cat, and in the middle was a big heart. <laughs> it was a draw that the little kid uh, gave it to him. And when he woke up, the two kids, he had them next to him. So it was really nice, actually. Very good. Excellent. Very good. What about you, Victor? How's your day? We cannot hear Victor, right? Victor, we cannot hear you. Now, now we cannot hear you. Do you hear me? Yes. Now, yes, okay. sir. Thank you. How's your day going? Um, good. Good. What did you yeah, do? Good. Well... I visit my grandparents. Oh, that's nice. You spend the time little, with them. And a little sad too. Why not? Why? Because tomorrow I, I start to work. Oh my God. <laughs> you, can you imagine, Claudia? He's sad. Tomorrow you will start working. Really? Yeah. Well, you had enough vacation. <laughs> 
Can't really right, Luis? Yes, you already get used to, right? Ha ha. <laughs> and where do you work? This time, this, this time no, no, it's vacation. Uh -huh, it's not vacation. Okay, so it doesn't count, he said. Okay. Yes. What did you do? Where do you work? I, I, I got a two job. Two jobs? Yeah. I am mechanic, but I fix when the people crash his car. Okay. And I work in, in a hotel. In a hotel? Yeah. <gasps> really? But the I work, I work. 42 hours mm -hmm. and I had I I get free 42 hours ah okay so you were two consequently days and then two off like yeah that. so oh, nice. when when my 42 hour free mm -hmm. I I work as a mechanic as mechanics yeah uh -huh, that's nice that's really interesting that's amazing. I knew you were a word mechanic. You look like mechanic. <laughs> That's nice. Excellent. Very good. And which hotel do you work? Uh, uh, hotel Naples. Naples. Where it's, is it? It was Zappa. Oh, oh, ah, okay. Wasapa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I, to be honest with you, El Salvador is my country, but I don't know many places. <laughs> what what is what is the cost the the that's that's hotel? How much it costs? Uh, is it? Uh, it depends how much time. I don't know how to say. It. You're go, How much time you would like to spend there? Uh, One yeah. night, two nights, three nights. Mm -hmm. uh, weekend. One night. Uh twenty dollar. Oh, night. It's good. You see, we're using Zoom and English classes just for advertising as well, so we're good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty, very good, excellent job. Uh, Gabby Galdames, how are you, girl? Thank you, Victor, that was really nice. <laughs> how are you, baby girl? Fine, Fine. we cannot hear you. Uh, you can hear me? Yes, because I think it's yes. a little bit um low. Um, okay, you need to like. Oh. Yes, much better. Thank you. Great. Okay, yes. no, uh, I'm very good. I'm very happy because today we celebrate to the happy the Father's Day. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. It's a Father's and Day in El Salvador. Yes, and what do you do? And uh, we cook for my father. Okay. And I prepare the lunch and dinner. And we we ate cake. Cake? Cake, yes. You bought it or you bake it? No, I both. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought you could bake no, it. I, not, I cannot bake. <laughs> I have a friend who can bake cakes and they're really delicious. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. That was nice. Amerigo, what, what, what about you? Good night, teacher. Good, good night, night, sir. Good night. Uh, um, How was your day? Uh, it's, it's good. I am um, enjoying with my with my family, with my sons, in my house. Mm -hmm. um, uh, relax. Relax. Yes. But well, today, today I don't work. Oh yes. Definitely. It's only. It's very very. It's That's nice. Relax. Yes. Relax day. Okay. Yes. Excellent. I like Thank it. You. Very good. Who else? Uh, Alejandro, what about you? My day was very fun because okay. my wife and my daughter wake up very early. Really? They woke up early? Okay. Yes, because uh, they sing, sing a song this day for the really? final days. Oh, yes. wow. And prepare the how do you say desayuno? Breakfast. How you say breakfast. desayuno, guys? Breakfast, right? Okay. Breakfast, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Really? And, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and tell me what which was uh, the song that they sang for you? Uh, my daughter uh, in inventó. How do you say inventó? She invented, she created. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh my God, that was really nice. She played the 
violin. The violin. Yes. Wow, that's nice. You can also get in touch with Luis. Luis plays a lot of instruments as well. Mm -hmm. oh. That's nice. Very good. Oh, that was really good. Oh, yes. interesting, by the way. So today you were pampered. No. Yes, you were. Do you understand what I'm saying? That you were pampered? Yeah. No? No. Okay, guys. Uh, that is an expression that we use. For example, when... Uh, because pampers, usually you, you use it for babies, right? Okay. So pampers, yes. right? So that means that the pampers are for the baby because you care uh, about okay. them, you take care of okay. them, etc. So when, I, when we said that you were pampered, that means that yes. today they treat you like a baby. Yes. Okay? <laughs> That's what we mean. So you okay. were pampered, Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Excellent. What about you, Sandrita? What did you do today? Um, with my daughter. Okay. For my husband. Mm -hmm. Any uh, special? Um, so. Like, for example? <laughs> um, yeah, I prefer um, cake. Cake. You see, Gabby, you need to get in touch with Sandri. Yeah, that's great. Excellent job. Okay, guys. So you pay attention to what they said, right? Fernando. Hi, teacher. Hi, sir. Who said that um, his wife and his daughter? Sing a song a song for him. Who said that? Um, Victor. No. Uh, 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 Ron. Okay. Sandy, who said that? Chat. Ah, come on. You were not paying attention. Alejandro. Yay. Very good. Okay. Who said that this is his grandparents and has spent time with them today? Victor. Yay, very uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby, who said to bake a cake for his her husband? We cannot hear you, Gabby. There you go. Okay. Who said to bake a cake for her husband, Gabby? No? Luis, can you help her? Sandra. Sandra, very good job, excellent. All righty. Who said that he was um, spending time with his family, but because he's a really good English student, he has stopped uh, today's celebration? Who said that? Claudi, who said that? Oh. Yeah. Victor, America? Sandra? No. Gabby, no? Yeah. Um, Fernando Luis. will give you one. Yeah, very good. Excellent. You see? You were paying attention. Okay, guys. So today, okay, enough for asking. Okay, let's uh, but in this case, we're going to practice all the time simple pass, okay? So that's what I ask you. Okay, guys, today we're going to continue by what we have seen yesterday. Remember, there were model verbs. Do you remember which one we saw yesterday? Yes. yes. Which ones? Would, uh, will, and, and will. 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 Exactly. Will. Okay, so we're going to continue. And at the end of the class, around 15 minutes before the class ends, I remember that you do have an exercise, right? Right? Yes. And I sent you a video, so you're supposed to yes. study. Okay. Uh, a little. Uh, a little. Okay. We're going to choose the partners that are going to make a role play, democratically. Okay. We're going to do that. Okay, guys. So we're going to continue. We're going to listen to the develop a skill. And at the same time, we're going to listen. We're going to do a writing activity, but also a listening activity. Okay. We still okay. need to develop the listening skills. It's really important. Don't worry, Claudita. Okay? Don't worry. Relax. You're in a hamaca. I envy you. It will be <laughs> nice. Okay? So, yes, Claudia. Hamaca uh, next uh, you. 
Oh my God, for me? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh that's my good. God. That's yeah, good. that was good. I love it. I love hamacas. <laughs> They're really nice. That's yeah. Great. Yeah, I love them. I only have one hamaca right now. But I think it's big enough for my husband and me. The problem is that I have uh, two pets. And when we are in a hamaca, whiskey, my dog was like trying to reach us and try to jump in. And sometimes he jump in okay. and sleep with us. But now I do have another pet, Chestnut. Chestnut is whiskey's son. And can you imagine having two dogs with you in the hamaca? That would be amazing. Uh, that would be crazy. Yeah. My my dog, my dog next me next to you every time. Really, every time. Where is it? Oh, oh. my god, I saw him. Oh. Is it really cute? <laughs> oh. Every time, every time. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That exactly. Pets are like that. You know what? Whiskey. Right now, I need to close because whiskey, if not, will be here next to me barking. Ruff, 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 ruff. But yeah. when I open the door. Whiskey is over there. Whiskey is next to the door, waiting for mommy to open the door and say hi to him. She, he's Aww. always like that. He is always Wait. like that. Yes, he's a schnauzer, by the way. Hey, Miss, I got a two questions. Yes, sir. First, the first, the first is how the American people call to the hamaca. 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 The H we pronounce it like a J as in Juliet. Hamaca. And the second, the second one is, why you call whiskey through your dog? Well, that's a long story, but I would like to make it short. Uh, basically, whiskey was my first pet. I was four years old by then, and it was uh, Cocker Spanish. Okay, oh. so because of my father's work, we got to move to Guatemala, and we had to leave whiskey with my uh, mother's best friend, and actually he raised her. He raised him, and Whiskey was with her until he passed away when he was 15 years old. Whiskey was, uh, his, the, the, the hair of Whiskey was like, almost like my one. It was brown. That, the saying of color of Whiskey. So, in honor to, to my first pet, that's why I, I, um, I named this little pet that I have Whiskey. In honor of my first pet. I thought you called whiskey to your dog because you drink so much whiskey. No way. <laughs> you know what is different? Because uh, we, and now my pet is like a peppermint color. It doesn't have a brown color. He's like uh, between gray and white. But do you like whiskey? Yeah, I have tried them once or twice. Mm. And they know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I do not drink too much. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. At least it helps with my sore throat problem. That helps a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, so yes. let the party start, okay? Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you sure yes. are you ready for that? I don't think yes. so. You don't sound like that. Uh-uh. Every day, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Every day. Okay, guys. So first of all, we're going to start um, basically with a dialogue with a dialogue between two people rex and hannah and they're in a restaurant guys so they're ordering something so i want you guys to pay attention of what they say and you need to answer me this question what did they order okay okay so please pay attention to this because this is really important all righty I will play I will play it two times. Okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Can you see it guys? Yes, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, oops, sorry. Let's order. Part A. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich. 
And I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them french fries here, right? I'll have some french fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, would you like to listen one more time? Sure. sure. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Exercise 9. Listening. Let's order. Part A. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich. And I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them french fries here, right? I'll have some french fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, guys. So... Hopefully you have listened, okay? Yes. All right. So tell me, guys, what did Rex order? Cup of coffee and apple pie. Cup of coffee and apple pie. And the coffee was dark coffee or with sugar and milk? Sugar, sugar and milk. Uh -huh. Same. Same. All right. All right. So we're going to double check something really quickly. Let me share right now because I have a tricky for you. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have this option. We got coffee with cream and sugar and a piece of apple pie, or a coffee with cream and sugar and a piece of raspberry pie. Which one is the right the first, one? The first. The first yeah, one. First. All right. Very good. What about Hannah? What did she order? Hannah, sandwich, chicken sandwich, con some chips. French, uh -huh. French, French fries, fries and iced tea. Fries. All right, very good. French fries. Okay, she she said chips, right? Yep. Yeah, she guys, why she said chips? Because she is British. The, the, could you identify her accent? Um, no. Yeah, she's Not British. really. So she said, "Oh, you uh, you call her here uh, French fries, right? Yeah, yeah. She has she's a British accent." But it's not quite a difficult, it's difficult, right? But it was easy to understand her, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's double check right now if you are okay. So we have two answers. A sandwich, french fries, and iced tea. And a sandwich, french fries, and hot tea. Which one is the right one? It's uh, very, yeah, very good. Okay, guys. So now it's going to be a little bit difficult because um, the, 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 uh, the waiter... And Mesero, the waiter, repeat the order, right? And when yes. repeated, was supposed to be okay, right? Right. But sometimes, I don't know if that had happened to you, that when the waiter arrived back to you, <laughs> something is missing. Or, yes. or give you uh, a plate or a dish that you didn't ask for, okay? So, guys, we need to identify what is exactly that the waiter forgot okay 
Okay. All right. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Okay, let me share it right now. There you go. Page 90, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the server forgot to bring. Oh, here comes our server. Yeah, I wondered what took so long. Phew, here you are. Uh, I ordered french fries with my chicken sandwich, and you brought me noodles. Oh, you ordered french fries? Yes. Uh, and could I have the apple pie I ordered? What apple pie? Did you order apple pie? Uh-huh, yeah, I did with my coffee. Really? How did I forget that? Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes? How long have you been a server? Who, me? Oh, uh, today is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get your apple pie and the french fries right away. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, guys, it was easy, right? Easy. Yes, okay, so tell me, according to this beautiful waiter, that is his first day of working, according to this picture, tell me which uh, are the two items that he forgot. Apple pie. Apple, apple pie. pie. We have it here. In French, in French, in the French, French fries. fries. And the French fries. Instead of mm -hmm. that, he served what? He said noodles, right? Yep. Yes, noodles. Noodles are all the way to say spaghetti, okay? Noodles. No, yes, but most of them there are the spaghetti that you um that you eat in the Chinese food, guys. Yes, yes. those are called noodles. All righty. Tallarines. Tallarines, exactly. What about the coffee? Did he mention the coffee? No. 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 Oh. All right. So, would you like to be that waiter? ¿Le gustaría ser ese ese mesero? No. no. All right. Okay, very good. Any new words for you guys? No. Nah. Easy peasy queasy, right? Yay, excellent. You see? That was really nice, actually. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue with this, guys. Love me just a couple of minutes when we are working right now, Dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. All righty, let's hear somebody here. Okay, let's participate in something. There we go. Okay, let's listen to you guys. Let's do a recap. Let's practice activity, speaking, okay? Who's going to be the first volunteers? Okay, thank you, Luis and Sandri. Um. Oh, are you ready, guys? Okay. Okay, who's going to be the server? Yeah, Sandri. Sandri, right? Okay, Sandri, we listen to you. May, may I take your order? Uh, uh, good night, sir. May I take your order? <laughs> yes. I, I like... Uh, uh, let me, let me, no, 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 let me a minute. Okay. I like the the spicy fish and, and rice. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, would you like a salad? Yes. I I have a mixed green salad. Uh, what kind of dressing would you like? Um, we have uh, blue cheese and vinegar. Um, the vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Huh? Uh, <laughs> vinaigrette. <laughs> blue cheese, please. And would you like um, uh, anything 
drink? Yes. Uh, I like a, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very good. Excellent job. That was great. Hey, congratulations. Great job, guys. Woohoo. Yeah. Almost forgot, great, great right? Great job, Sandra. Yeah, it was really good. Sandra sounds like a waitress. I study. I yeah, study. I know. And, uh -huh. and she had the screen in the computer about the dialogue, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, but it, yeah, but you know what? It's different, right? We to say it in memory by memory. Yes, yes. But but this is one of the practices, guys, because we need to also develop the memory skill, okay, yes. and the concentration. So that is the purpose. It's not because I want to be a bad teacher. No way. It's because it still helps you as well. So that's great. Excellent. Who else? Um. Alejandro, you were with uh, Gabby, right? But I think your partner is missing. Is that correct? Yes, and Christian. And Christian. Okay, who else? Fernando, you were with who? Um, no, teacher. You were with nobody? Mm. Let me check. You know, basically, guys, the other... Pairs, they disappear. <laughs> yeah, right. It's because of something. Uh -huh. Victor, you were with somebody? Moran. With Moran. But Moran disappeared as well. Who were you, Victor? The server or the customer? I don't remember. <laughs> I think the server. <laughs> the server. Okay, so do me a favor. You uh -huh. can start with the server and Luis is going to be your loyal customer. Okay. Okay, so, okay. Server is scenario number two. Me too? Action. Okay. <laughs> yes, you're going to be the customer. Don't worry, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Victor, go ahead. May I take your order? Yes. I, I like uh, the uh, spicy fish and, and rice. <laughs> All right. Um, would you like salad? Yes, I will, I will have a, a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We we have blue cheese and vinaigrette. She, uh, blue cheese, please. Uh, would you like anything to, anything to drink? Yes, I would like a, a large iced tea, please. I'm sorry, only have beers and tequila. Oh, right. Come on, come. Give me a six. <laughs> Give me a six pack. <laughs> oh my okay. God. I was expecting that. I don't know why. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. I like it. Very good job. Excellent job, Victor. I love that you improve. Okay, guys. So. This was a really easy peasy queasy, right? And you guys, and you use a uh, model verse. You use may, would, will. So that's yeah. pretty good. Now, guys, doesn't mean that there is not your partner. You're not going to do anything. Alejandro, you're going. You yes. you should, you should be the the server, right? Yes. Okay. So you're going to work with Fernando, but okay. this is going to be so much fun because you're going to improve. You're going to uh, improvisate, okay? Van a improvisar. Fernando, are you with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you're going to be the customer. Imagine, Fernando, that you're going to a restaurant. What is, which is your favorite restaurant, by the way? Um, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. Pizza Hat, China Pizza Hat, teacher. Okay, uh, Pizza Hat. Okay, Alejandro, so you're a server for Pizza Hat. Okay? okay, so please you start the conversation. May I take your order and then we move on? Go ahead. Okay, good night, sir. May I take your order? Okay, would you like the I pizza mm -hmm. for cheese? For cheese, yes. Uh, sorry, mister, but uh, 
we don't have four cheese, only have a uh, four season. Okay, no, no problem. Okay. Uh, would you like anything of complement with your pizza? For example, you... Um, the beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, two. Ketchup, um, ketchup, ketchup, only, only ketchup on, okay. on sauce, yes, sauce uh, on ketchup. Okay, do you, would you like anything for drink? Um, I, could you like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola drink? Yes. Okay. Uh, would you like a large or small uh, glass of Coke? A small. Okay. We uh, give me a couple of minutes, please. No problem. Same. Okay. Okay, okay. sir. I give you pizza. In, all right. Yes, all pizza right. Like pizza for the for cheesecake. Okay. Hey, but you know what, Alejandro? We're going to do something. Yeah. You are not a good. Uh, you are not concentrated waiter. Okay. He asked you for four season pizza, and a glass of coke, and you brought him something different. Okay. So action. <laughs> Continue. Okay, Alejandro, continue, please. We we'll listen to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Me escuchas, Alejandro? Miss. Ah, okay. We're waiting for him. Miss. Yes, Victor. I want to try with somebody else. Bye. Like okay. that, improve it. Okay, cool. No problem. You're going to try Surely with Claudia. I lost my, my connection. Ah, okay. But we can hear you now, Alejandro. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, excuse me, I forgot your pizza, four season pizza. I apologize. Fernando, what are you going to say? No problem. The He's a really nice the, customer. The, the pizza is very good. Okay. But yeah. he, he forgot the pizza. Actually, he didn't bring you a pizza. He get, he bring you like, like a lasagna. Lasagna? Uh-huh. And it was not what you ordered. <laughs> so so thank you so oh, much oh. for being patient with Alejandro, okay? He's, he's a nice waiter. That's good, guys. I know. Improving is different, right, guys? Yes. A and it's harder, right? Don't worry, guys, but you did a really great job. Good job, Fernando. Good job, Alejandro. Okay, okay. Victor, now is your turn with Claudita. Claudita, you got to do your best. I want to be the customer. Ah, Claudita, you're going to be the server. Oh, in this case, the waitresses. Oh, see, yes. Don't worry, okay? Use your imagination, mm -hmm. use the words that you know, okay? Okay. Okay, so you start. Me pongo nervios. Don't worry. <laughs> if you want, you can turn it off the mm. camera. That's okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Puedo tomar su orden, guys? May I take your order? May I take, take your order. order. Okay, so así tienes que empezar. May I take your order? May I take your order. Uh-huh. Okay, Victor, go ahead. Yes, I would like a soup with vegetable. Oh. oh. Sorry, sir. Uh, only pupusa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pupusa. Okay, 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 you're fine. But do you have uh, pupusas with cheese? Okay. 
Okay. Um, mm, pupusas with cheese. Um, uh, how do you say? Um, drink? Bebida? Uh, okay, anything to drink? Anything to drink? What do you have for drink? Oh, horchata. Okay, what else? Give him some options. Um, horchata. Beer. 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 Uh, Coca-Cola. Okay, what else? Uh, coffee. Coffee. Milk. Milk, okay. Chocolate. Okay, she gave you a six action. The coffee is, is, is hot. Yes. Okay, give me the horchata. Oh, ice. Um, cold. Horchata. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Very good. So, Claudita, repeat his order. Okay. Repeat his order. Um, what did he order? Pupusas. Uh, cheese. Um, cheese pupusas. Okay. Cheese pupusas. Uh, with coffee. No, horchata. With horchata. Okay. With horchata. Okay, you can you can ask him. Would you like something else? A glass. He, he, she. Yeah. Miss, a glass of horchata. A glass of horchata. Yes, Victor. She never she never asked me how many pupusas I want. Oh yes, you know what? We are improving. Come on, you need to be patient with the server. So it's the first day, okay? Don't be bad <laughs> customer. <laughs> okay. All right, Claudita, you can ask him how many pupusas do you want? Ask him, please. Oh. Um, more pupusas? I want two pupusas and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Yeah. Claudita asking, would you like sauce and curtido or only sauce? Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Curtido only sauce. Would you like curtido only sauce? Mm -hmm. Only, only sauce. On this off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Good. Mm -hmm. Oil. Uh, can you repeat, oil? please? And oil. Onion. What is? Mm -hmm. Onion. No. No, no like onion. onion. <laughs> what no, about no. chili? No. Oh yeah. 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 I love chili. All right. Cool. There you go. Uh, uh, Claudista, ask him. Uh, would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Mm -hmm. How? Um, Te le gustaría algo más? Would you like anything else? Um, would you like anything else? Victor, don't I be bad. Think I think... <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine, only, okay. Yeah, only my pupusa. Very good, thank you, great job. Okay, and last big team, sorry, last participants. <laughs> Victor, you're going to be the server. And Gabby, okay. you're going to be the customer. Okay. All right. But I want, okay, very good. Victor, you can start. We want to hear you. I cannot hear you, Victor. Okay, cool. Now do you hear me? Yes. Okay. May I take your order? Uh, yes, please. Um, I like a typical dinner, please. Oh, okay. That's easy. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for being nice with us. All, right. All right. Um anything else? Uh yes, I like to drink something, but I don't know uh what kind of drink drinks do you have? Mm -hmm. I got a we got a Coke, Pepsi, Corona, Heineken. I knew it, I knew it. Um <laughs> Uh, she, she's a child, water, come on. Water, we, uh, we got a water, um, juice. Okay, I like a bottle of, of water and a bottle of, of juice. Okay, uh, what kind of juice do you have? Uh, we got a apple juice and all that. <laughs> See. Uh, like a orange juice? Yeah, but you had to you had to wait twenty minutes. Um, okay, I I'm I'm going to drink uh, um, apple juice. 
Okay. Anything else? Um, what kind of dessert do you have? You got a piece of cake, or, um, I don't know, some cookie. You got a cookie. Do you have cheesecake? Cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, but you didn't mention it. <laughs> what kind of cake <laughs> do you want? Okay, I I like a che uh, cheesecake, please. Only that. We don't have the. I'm sorry, but it's my, my first day too. Oh my God, all right. We, op we open today, so we exciting. don't have all <laughs> Very good job, excellent, bravo, that was nice. Uh -huh. All right, Victor, you felt nervous and you were a really bad customer with Claudita. <laughs> and no. now you suffer okay very good she she asked for typical food guys but you didn't okay typical food what we have for typical food guys we have a uh, fried beans right cheese what else guys what else we have for typical food uh, cena typica what do we have guys uh-huh i cannot hear you guys x Eggs. What else? Cheese. Uh huh. What else? Um, American sure. beans. Beans. Cream. Cream. What else, Fernando? Sure. Yes. Platanitos. Platano fritos. Fried beans. Egg. Fried beans. Fried beans. 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 Uh huh. Also, we can have fried beans as well, right? Frijoles yes. fritos. Tamales. Tamales. Tamales is tamales. That's okay. the word like pupusa. You need you don't change it because that is a unique word. We don't have a an a word in English for tamales, not for pupusas. Tamales are tamales, like hamaca and hamaca. Yeah, very good, excellent. The, 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 tortillas. The, the American tortillas. The American people pupusas say pupusa. No, nah, they said like they that. said papusas. <laughs> Yes, it's really hard to pronounce. They say papusas instead of pupusas. Yeah. By the low my, pupusas. My my brother is in, in the United States and he he told me like how how we hear the American people speak. Mm -hmm. They hear the same how we speak English. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. It's because they're Spanish. Is not their native language, right? They mm. speak English and they're learning Spanish, and we are in the opposite way. We're Spanish speakers, but we're learning English. So that's why it sounds exactly like that way. But that's good. Excellent. You know what? Also, huevos, we have huevos revueltos, scramble eggs. See? Scramble. Yes. Scramble, scramble eggs. eggs. Scramble eggs, huevos revueltos. Ya faltó preguntarle que casi como quería los huevos. Scramble Teacher, eggs. Teacher, que, eh, <laughs> eh, yes, Luis. Can be can be the uh, eggs twister. Twister, volteados. Ah, no, 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 no. Picados. Yes. No, they call it scramble. Scramble eggs. Okay. Huevos, huevos estrellados. Straight eggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and, uh, y huevos eh, um, cocidos, cocidos, y huevos rancheros, eh, duros. ¿Ah? no, cocidos duros. son uh, duros, son boiled eggs, que están cocidos, right? Boiled boil eggs. Y rancheros, boil son, eggs. Eh, straight ranch eggs, rancheros, ranch. Very good, excellent. So you see, we're learning vocabulary. Okay, guys, so you practice. You practice the auxiliary is would and will, and also may. Okay, you practice that. That's nice. Excellent. You see, we're improving. Maybe you're like, panic, right? But that's okay. Don't worry. It's part of the process. But it's really good. Good for the one that did as a servers, and good for the one that did as a customers. It was really nice. And guys, this is really important because you don't know. Maybe one day you have to go to the restaurant. And you need to learn how to ask, how to order, right? Or yeah. you're going to work in a restaurant. May I take your order, right? 
Yes, it's really important. For example, you're starving, you want a glass of water, you don't know how to ask how for a glass of water? This is really important. Okay, so do you like okay. the activity today? Yes, yes. yes okay, it's cool. Yes. Okay, tomorrow we're going to learn more. Ah, and I, I remember that somebody asked me what is the, what was the difference between uh, uh, wish. wood and wish, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. and I had an answer for you. Okay, for example, um, wood, guys, is for example for something that you like right now, right? That should give you an option. Would you like this or would you like this? Do you have this and this option? So you have to choose which one you prefer, okay? But wish, okay. guys, wish is a word that we use uh, that is totally out of the context, out of context. Because basically we use the word wish when would you, when would you like to change something of your present that you don't like, but it's like hypothetical. You, you know that never happens or well, never will happen. And we use wish, guys, to express a desire or something that is in your present, but we use wish with past tense verbs and also with, uh, with past perfect as well. So it's really, does not follow the rule, guys. It's really totally different. So what I'm going to do right now, I will show you a video that would explain to you how do you use wish when you would like to, uh, for example, explain something that you would like to change of your present. For example, let me, let me show you an example. Um, I wish life weren't so difficult. Me gustaría que la vida no fuera tan difícil. Right? All right. Pero saben que, saben que el pass de bird to be para he, she, it, he, I es was, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando usted utiliza la palabra wish, Para todo, independientemente cuál pronoun utilice, usted utiliza where. Where or weren't. ¿Sabía usted eso? No. Se puede usar was y, el, y la persona que habla inglés lo va a entender. Pero grammatically is not, no es muy correcto. La mayoría es where. O sea que wish no, doesn't follow any rule. No, no sigue ninguna regla. Wish sí, tú lo sí. ocupas para, para, sí. para poder expresar algo que tú quisieras cambiar en tu presente, pero que ya pasó. Y utilizas algo para hablar de tu presente, pero con verbos en pasado. O sea que eso es una gran mezcolanza, por decir así. Teacher, Dime, Luisito. Um, uh, she, she will wish a cake. Is correct? Mm -hmm. She wishes she could have a cake. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. could have a cake. Por ejemplo, utiliza el pasado de can, que es could. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. te, voy a, te voy a dar ahorita un video and you will learn a little bit more, ¿ok? Ya okay. se los pongo. Permítame tantito. El wish, guys, lo puedo usar tanto de pasado como para futuro también. Pero va a depender de, de, de qué es lo que yo quiero decir. Ahorita, eh, lo que les vamos a enseñar es cómo usar, por ejemplo, eh, vamos a hacer los, los tres escenarios que les digo, pero van a entender un poquito más cómo se utiliza el wish. Eh, mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, a, cuando quieres hablar de algo que tú quisieras cambiar en el pasado, en el presente, pero que eso ya pasó. Por ejemplo, I wish I could have money. Me gustaría tener plata. So I can go to and visit my grandfather, por ejemplo. Puedo ir a visitar a mi, a mi abuelo. Pero mi realidad es que yo no tengo plata. Y como no tengo plata, entonces no puedo ir a visitar a mi abuelo. ¿Sí? Algo así se utiliza el wish. Wish, wish es solo para referirse al pasado. También se puede para el futuro. Exacto. Eso es lo que vas a ver ahorita. Ya te lo voy a enseñar. Porque de hecho también es para el futuro. Déjame ver aquí, ok. Let me share right now the screen. Wait. Can you see it, guys? Yes? Yes. yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. Eh, ¿Quieren que se lo deje con subtitles o without subtitles? Without. Without it. Ok, without it, guys. Ok, let's listen, please. Emily, I'll be telling you how to express wishes in English. So firstly, a wish is something that we want to happen, but that is impossible or is very unlikely to happen. 
we can talk about wishes for the past, the present, or the future. So let's start by talking about how to express wishes for the future. This can be a wish for the immediate future or a long-term wish. To talk about wishes for the future, we follow this pattern. Subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject and then we add could or would and uh, the infinitive form of the verb. We use could when it's a wish about something that we want to be able to do and would for wishes about things that we just want to happen. For example, I wish I, that baby would stop crying. We use would because it's a wish about something we simply want to happen. We want the baby to stop crying. So we say, I wish that baby would stop crying. Okay, we'll stop here. Entienden? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. En el caso de future, future wishes, eh, si ustedes se fijan, ven que también utilizamos los modal verbs para would. Aquí estamos utilizando wish and would. Aquí dice, I wish the baby would stop crying. Estamos utilizando para algo de futuro. ¿Qué quiere decir ella? Me hubiese gustado que este niño dejara de llorar. ¿Sí? Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Exactly. Very good. We want the baby to stop crying anytime in the future. Preferably immediately. Claro. Of course. In another example, I wish I could fly. I want to be able to fly. So I say, I wish I could fly. What about, I wish I could visit Paris. We want to be able to visit Paris, so I say, I wish I could visit Paris. Anytime in the future, I wish I could visit Paris. And finally, I wish it would stop raining. So this person wants it to be sunny. It's raining and he wishes it would stop raining. I wish it would stop raining. Another way of saying this is, I wish the sun would come out. So this means a very similar thing. I wish the sun would come out. So that's future wishes. What about things we wish were happening right now? Well, those are present wishes. And the way we talk about present wishes is to say subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject and then we add a verb in the past tense. So for example, we can say I wish I had more money. Had is past tense. This person wants to have more money right now, so they say, I wish I had more money. ¿Entienden ese ahorita, chicos? You understand? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, teacher. Yes. Right now, he's talking, she's talking about something that she would like to change in her present. Okay, present wishes. But you see, guys, that when you would like to talk about something that you do want to change in the present, you use the past tense. That's the, that's the thing that I was telling you about, okay? So pay attention to this one. Or, Sarah wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. Sarah's tire is flat. She does not know how to fix a flat tire. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. So, knew is in the past tense. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. And she wishes she knew that right now. We wish we were at the beach. We're not at the beach. We want to be at the beach. So we wish we were at the beach. And you'll notice that were is in the past tense. Now, the verb to be is actually a little bit tricky because when we talk about wishes, we, we leave all persons as using were. We don't use was. So, instead of saying, I wish I was happy, we would say, I wish I were happy. But, many native speakers will say, I wish I was happy. And, many people will tell you that it is correct to say, I wish I was happy. So, you can say, I wish I was happy, was being the past tense of to be, but it is grammatically correct to say, I wish I were happy. So, just remember that you should be saying, I wish I were happy, but that everyone will understand you if you say, I wish I was happy. Okay, what about wishes? Okay, guys, we're going to stop like this. Why? Not because we are run of time. No, 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 it's not that. It's because that when we use wishes with past, that's a, a bird tense that we have not seen. 
okay? We have no seen present and past perfect, no yet. And I don't want you to get confused, okay? Pero okay. Ent entendieron, okay. entendieron how you use wish? Mm, I think so. Yeah, you mean that the, a wish is muy diferente a would. Aunque es algo que tú quieras, pero would es cuando tú, por ejemplo, eh, te gustaría que algo pasara ahorita y te dan opciones para. Pero wish es un deseo hipotético. Un deseo hipotético que tú sabes que nunca se va a realizar. Porque ya no puede. Por ejemplo, el ejemplo de, de la muchacha que se le pinchó la llanta. Flat tire. ¿Sí? Me hubiera gustado aprender cómo cambiaron a flat tire. Pero no puedo. Right? Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Yes. ¿Ves? Entonces es algo que tú no puedes cambiar. Pero es algo que tú quieres que cambiaría en tu presente. Por ejemplo, ¿qué cosas te gustaría? Y tú puedes hablar de algo que te gustaría cambiar en el presente. Regarding a family. Regarding studies. Regarding work. Regarding where you live. Por ejemplo, ¿sí? Si a ti no te gusta tu casa, puedes decir, I wish I could live um, in a bigger place. ¿Sí? Pero tu, tu casa es pequeña. Pero te gustaría que fuera más grande. O yes. ponerle, si tú te quieres mudar a San Salvador, pero tú vives en San Miguel, I wish I, I could live in San Salvador. Pero tu realidad es que you don't live in San Salvador, you live in San Miguel. ¿Ok? ¿Me entiendes? ¿Me entiendes cómo yes. se utiliza wish? Yes. Entonces, ves que es de, ambos significan desear algo, right? Pero will, ves will, co, will, cómo will es diferente. Will is more physical. Yes, will is more physical. Y es algo que obviamente se va a realizar porque you have... A, two or more options that you can decide and it's going to be realized. Pero wish es algo hipotético. Yes. Puede cambiar o puede que no. Pero es algo que tú quieres cambiar en tu realidad. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Exactly. It's an illusion. ¿Ves que es diferente a wood? Yes. It's totally different. Okay. So I'm going to send you this video so you can continue and I will send you another videos. So you will be able to have more Please. information about yes. it, okay? Please. Okay, guys, it was my pleasure to have you. I know I, I had to say goodbye because Luis needs to continue celebrating, okay? okay. <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you guys. Please study, and hopefully I can see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 Have a lovely one. Take care. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.